It's hard to imagine what it would be like to have skin as fragile as a butterfly's wings, where blisters and wounds form at the slightest touch. Yet this is the reality for people living with epidermolysis bullosa, commonly known as EB. EB is a rare genetic condition. You cannot catch it. You are born with it. A genetic spelling mistake in certain genes means that people with EB do not manufacture the proteins that hold the layers of skin together. The skin is as fragile as a butterfly's wings. And so they have been named the butterfly children. EB is an incurable condition which in some forms is fatal in infancy and childhood. For those butterfly children who make it into adulthood, life expectancy is cruelly cut short and fatal skin cancer becomes an added threat. When they are born with EB, their parents in many cases have no idea that their newborn has this agonizing, disabling condition that causes blistering or tearing of the skin. It strikes with the abruptness and devastation of lightning. Children the world over love to play. For most, growing and learning is through physical activity, the touch and feel of the world around them. That contact is especially important with those they love and depend on. EB children are not so lucky. They are unable to enjoy a normal childhood with all the physical contact it brings. EB makes the skin as fragile as wet tissue paper. The slightest knock or rub, even rolling over in bed or a mother's hug, can cause blistering. The constant damage can cause fingers and toes to completely fuse together. Every day, day in and day out, children and adults with EB need their blisters pierced, drained and dressed in an agonizing routine lasting up to three hours a day. What you see on the skin really is just the tip of the iceberg. All the mucous membranes, which includes the mouth, gums, gullet and stomach, may be affected. Even the eating of solids can have a devastating effect on the mouth and esophagus. As a result, many take their food, medication and painkillers through a feeding tube directly into their tummy. All too often, damage to the eyeballs can result in a sufferer having to sit in the dark for up to two to three days until they are healed. Due to the relatively small numbers with EB, which is estimated at around 1,000 people in Australia, it is virtually unknown. With the health system and government unable to provide the specialist services urgently needed, it is Deborah alone that families turn to for relief. With the health system and government unable to provide the specialist services urgently needed, it is Deborah alone that families turn to for relief. Deborah's goals are to raise awareness of EB, encourage understanding which will lead to compassion, tolerance and acceptance, to develop a network of support for sufferers and their families, to provide practical support by supplying essential items needed. Deborah also funds international research aimed at developing successful long-term treatment and ultimately a cure. However, all of this comes at a cost. Deborah receives no direct income from the government, so every single dollar has to be raised by Deborah itself through corporate support, grants, or individual donors like you. Deborah invites you to be a partner in helping them prolong and increase the quality of life for a person with EB. Deborah has a vision working for a life free of pain. But we cannot do it alone. While they are living in constant pain, you can make a difference. Please give generously. Because with your help, we can find a cure, not in the distant future, but in our lifetime.